Milky Way is the only galaxy where we can really measure all these things. So this tells us about our galaxy, the, our place in the universe, but also a big picture of all the galaxies of the universe, how they form and how they evolve. In the University of Barcelona and also in the University of Groningen, I was doing modeling of the evolution of the galaxy, how the galaxy forms and evolves, how the stars move inside the galaxy, and also working with some catalogs of real measurements of the velocities of the stars. And now that I'm here at ESA, um, I work in a similar line, but more in the sense of really preparing for where the, the moment where the data of Gaia will really come. I'm in the uh, science office. It's where all the project scientists and the scientists related to the missions are. So the project scientists are the link between the engineers and the companies building the satellites and the scientific community. They have a lot of functional work to do. And then we provide sort of the link with the research, with the real research that, has, that is being done at the moment. I wanted to come here, but I thought here it was more a technical aspect of the missions and I liked more the scientific aspect. But then this fellowship was great, actually, because it's a, a bit between the two. I can still do my science and actually we can choose our own project. This is very nice. I can still do my science, but be in contact with, uh, with all this big structure that ISA is. I don't know if you have any plans. As a scientist, we have to check uh, all the publications and new work that is being done to see if there is any relation with, with what I'm doing. That's part of the thing I do, but most of the time it's really running my codes, uh, exploring my methods, exploring the simulations, and writing all this in papers that go into scientific journals. Here at ESTEC there is a Gaia team, there is uh, the project scientist, there is the um, system scientists and other research fellows that are also working on Gaia. So we, we meet once per week, we discuss all, we, well, all the things we are doing, we are updated uh, of the status of the mission, how the things are evolving, when the data will be ready. I know how to program. For example, I have created codes that simulate how our galaxy formed and evolved, how the stars moved inside the galaxy and have also skills on analyzing data, statistical methods, for example, statistical tools. Also some experience in visualizing things, because of course all these sets of data, you can analyze them, but at some point you need to visualize what you are getting. So I also have some experience on this. It's still impressive that we don't know so many things about the galaxy. This is very fascinating that with Gaia we will be able to solve some of these issues. For example, we don't know if the galaxy has two spiral arms or four or more perhaps. And uh, this is because in other galaxies we see them from far and we can see them oriented in a way that we perfectly see the shape of the galaxy. But in our own galaxy, since we are inside, we don't have this perspective and we don't know basic things like this. And hopefully we'll, with Gaia we will do.